Hello everyone. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me tonight and try and stay to the end on this video. Um, you might find it interesting. But anyhow, I'm going to tell you about a dream I had. But I first want to apologize for not getting this regular video uploaded last night. I recorded it and then listened through it. I tried uploading it and my camera and my phone wouldn't link because I have my GoPro app on my phone and I just transfer the video from my camera to my phone and then take it and put it on an editing app and then go through it and post it to YouTube. Well, for some reason, my camera and my phone wouldn't link one another so I could get the video from the camera to the phone in order to edit it. And it took me a long time and I finally got my phone camera straightened out. Well, then listening through the video, I wasn't pleased with it anyhow, so I decided I'm going to record it tonight. So here's my story. Monday, Wyatt had gotten sick. A lot of you know that because you watched your video or my video the other day. Um, I had to go to school and pick him up, my wife and I. Anyhow, he had a dentist appointment scheduled for Tuesday. Well, Monday night he was still sick. And I had to get up Tuesday morning to go down and get Wyatt, or not Wyatt, but Logan on the bus anyhow. And so my wife told uh, my daughter to have Wyatt spend the night with us. So he did. He come up to spend the night. And that way, Tuesday morning, I could go down and get Logan on the bus and Wyatt could sleep in because Grandma was still home because she's working the 2 to 10 shift this week. So she was there to watch Wyatt while I went, ran down to my daughter's to get Logan off to school. But anyhow, Monday night, we'd gone to bed. Of course, my wife's working 2 to 10, so she don't get home till almost 11 o'clock at night. She always watches a couple episodes of her favorite show, sometimes gets a bite to eat while she's watching TV, you know, eat a late night supper or snack or whatever you want to call it but anyhow we finally shut the tv down and our phones down we were on she was on her phone on facebook a little bit about one o'clock well eric gets me up anywhere between one and two three o'clock every morning to go potty that's our senior dog the little men pen but anyhow we shut our phones down the tv down my wife starts falling asleep right away, and she starts snoring, and I can't sleep, so I'm laying there trying to get uh, to go to sleep and couldn't. And a little while later, Wyatt starts hacking and coughing. Well, he got sick at school Monday because of he has a sinus infection, and some phlegm went down the back of his throat, drainage from his sinuses, and he gagged on it, and that's what caused him to throw up. He didn't have a stomach flu or anything. Well, well when he started coughing in the middle of the night, Monday night, my wife woke up and she's like, why grab trash can. She thought he was going to throw up. She didn't want to clean up a mess or I would probably had to clean it up. But so I got up, turned the light on and helped him. He didn't get sick, but then he laid back down. And meanwhile, we let, we get back in bed. I get back in bed and I fall asleep and I start dreaming. Well, it was a short while later, Eric wakes up, has to go potty and I'm having this dream. When I woke, when and I'm a light sleeper, so when Eric got up to go down the ramp off our bed, you know, his toenails clicking on the plastic of the ramp, it woke me up, and it's the split second I woke up, I could smell Vicks. And so my first instinct when I smelled Vicks is like, oh, my wife must have put Vicks on Wyatt. And I thought, man, I didn't, I didn't think I was sleeping that hard to not hear her get up out of bed and put Vicks on Wyatt, but I thought, you know, okay. So I went and I let Eric out, and Penny, of course, got up, and Tubby went out, the three of them. And I stood there at the front door for about five minutes, waiting for them to do their duty and come back in. And I went back in the bedroom, and I stood there for a second, and my wife was still awake because she got woke, woken up when, I, when the dogs were getting up to go potty. And I'm standing there, and I kind of smell really hard, trying to sniff, see if I could smell that Vicks, and I didn't smell anything. And she's like, what are you doing? And I said, well, when I woke up, when Eric woke me up, I said I could smell Vicks. And I said, I have seen if I could still smell it. And she says, well, you know, they say when you wake up like that and you smell something, she says, that's because sometime in your childhood, somebody you know or somebody you're around all the time uh, smelt like that or whatever. She says, so your grandma or an aunt or somebody smelt like Vicks all the time to you when you were a kid or they used it a lot. And that's just something that's etched in your brain. And I said, nobody that I know of smelled like Vicks. But I said, they used it. And I said, any of us grandkids? I said, we had a lot of grandkids. And, and I said, my grandma did. And I said, if she 
was sick, she would use it for herself. Or if somebody else had a cold or congested, they'd put it on you. If you're spending the night and starting to come out with cold, they'd rub you down with Vicks, you know. And I said, but no, nobody in my childhood smelt like Vicks all the time to me. And I says, but why you, but Bangs, you did say that. I said, I was dreaming and I was actually dreaming of being down at my grandma Armstrong's place. And I said, I told her, I said, we were looking at pictures. I said, but I, there was a bunch of people around, but I couldn't physically see anybody all except for a hand turning pages in this photo album really fast. And I said, Hey, who was that? Who's that? And they said, Oh, I don't know. Just a bunch of you kids. I was folk trying to focus on the pictures of these kids in these pictures and to see who they were, which kids they were, if they were me or my, some of my siblings, or if they were my cousins, you know, and they said, Oh, we're just looking through them real quick. And they wouldn't slow down. They just flipped the pages just as fast as they could. And I'm trying to focus on who was in the pictures. And I told her that. And she says, well, somebody is trying to tell you, you know, that, or, you know, something from that, that that's why you smelt Vicks. And I went and crawled in bed and I thought, I'm going to get up and put Vicks on Wyatt. That'll help his congestion, maybe loosen some of that crap up. And so I got up out of bed and went around my wife's side of the bed because Wyatt sleeps in our bedroom on the floor. He throws a blanket sleeping bag down. So I went around there and we have a bottle of Vicks sitting on the dresser and some cough medicine and cold children, children's cold medicine, stuff like that. And so I went around there and grabbed the Vicks bottle and I said, Wyatt, and he woke up real easily. And I said, stand up. So he stood up. I said, pull up your shirt. Grandpa's going to put Vicks on your chest. So I rubbed his chest down with some Vicks and went around, went around and uh, <clears throat> got back in bed. And my wife says, yeah, somebody is trying to tell you something. I said, yeah, I guess they wanted me to look after Wyatt and rub him down with Vicks like they did me, apparently. Somebody there was trying to tell me something. That's the only thing I can think of. Otherwise, I don't know why all of a sudden I smelled Vicks, but I did. It was a strong smell. Anyhow, if anything ever like this has ever happened to you, having a dream or wake up and smell something in your house that you, whatever it might be, tell me about it. And if you even do uh, YouTube videos, do a YouTube video on it and tell us about your story, about your dream. Well, I'm going to let you go. I hope you found that interesting. And why, by the way, why it is feeling better. He made it to his dentist appointment that day. I had to watch him half the day until his mom left work early to come get him, take him to his dentist appointment. That went well. And he even had the taekwondo that evening. He went to taekwondo. He said he wanted to go, even though he still wasn't 100%. But she said he's doing fine now. I checked on him last night. She said, yeah, he's his bratty old self now. He's doing a lot better. So I'll see you guys later. And don't forget I love you. Bye.